Lennart and his wife Brit bought their house in the Swedish countryside with a traditional loan. In 1992 they went as far as paying a 13.7 floating interest rate on their debt, that's roughly 40,000 euros today. Back then they discovered Jock and began to save money in order to gain saving points. In 1997 they moved their mortgage to Jock and obtained a 10 years loan with a 1.4 fixed interest rate that was the rate of the bank back then. Like most Jock borrowers they were forced to deposit post savings, but altogether they paid much less through Jock if compared to 1992 installments and at the same time they were saving money for the future. Hey, what do you think about this system at the I end? I think it's, it's been wonderful. I have seen how my debts have reduced every month. In the ordinary bank, it didn't reduce the debt. It only paid the interest in a small amount to reduce uh, the debt. My husband will retire a bit earlier because also we, we have less expensive. So he, he has uh, retired 16 months earlier than he should. When I visited them, they had just finished paying off their debt and automatically, after a few months, they were able to withdraw their post savings. 20,000 euros were the amount of the post savings that were transferred to a traditional bank account. In fact, all JOC members need an account with a traditional bank in order to make payments and cash withdrawals, since JOC doesn't offer this service. But nowadays, has a JOC loan higher installments than a traditional loan? If you, it's like now you have only 4 or 5% interest, then every month you have to pay more to York for the post savings. And that perhaps for a young family with children, it can be a difficulty. And I know that uh, some people, they divide their loans into many shorter loans. One part for five, one part for ten. So they get their post savings um, after a while. Martin lives in Helsingborg. He recently bought a house which he paid 210,000 euros. He made a 5 year loan with Jock to cover 5% of the total debt. The rest is going to be paid through a 3rd year loan with a traditional bank. Why are you taking these short term loans with Jock? Uh, because the after saving makes it impossible to have um, uh, higher uh, loans. So that's why I take as much as I can to afford and a short term I think is also good because then I got renovation and I pay back and then I have a new one instead of having a big loan which I pay for a long term. What's the effective interest rate of this uh, five years loan? Uh, the dock loan it's about 2.4%. There are other important differences that persuade JOC members to take part in this alternative financial system, even in ideal terms only. JOC is very local focused. We are not interested in going to China. We are interested in, in the, what's happening in the local yes. area and we invest money in the local area. And, and it's also, I think, we'd like to have it there from now and to two generations away. Not to, not to be there just for a couple of years and then disappear. This is what I call a sustainable economy. Mellanfjorden is a little fisherman's town in northern Sweden. Eva is an entrepreneur. She works in tourism and also manufactures fishing nets. She got a jock loan to buy a boat engine. The main thing is that if we don't have got contact with the ark, we should have a must stop the company. Why? Because uh, all other banks say no, we didn't uh, get one Swedish crown for them. So Jörg was the only way out. It's very, very difficult now in Sweden, uh, that is my opinion, to have small companies and you have to have very, very good results uh, if the big bank should believe in your company. My opinion is that uh, this uh, kind of bank that Jörg is, is a society that uh, are more uh, near the, the human being. And if you take this kind of uh, land that we are living in north of Sweden, this is not a big town, it's small, small, small societies. 
and that is very important that Jak is uh, coming here and help us to start um, companies and uh, then young people can stay here, live here and have jobs and so on.